Hey everyone, Broven here and welcome to the fourth update marking two months since release for Sons of the Forest. In today's video, I'm going to go over all the major changes in this update, so without further ado, let's crack straight into it. First up, we're going to cover all the new features that have been added to the game. The first one is the action cam item, which is essentially the camcorder from the previous game. They've also added one tape which will play on this device. Unfortunately, it contains spoilers, so I'm going to show that at the end of this video. The point of interest system has been completely revamped. So on the GPS, you no longer have a bunch of markers telling you where to go and investigate. They are completely gone. The new way to discover locations is by adventuring around the map and finding these laptops. These laptops, when you interact with them, will give you a new point of interest location to go and adventure and discover. Personally, I think this is a very nice change. Well done. Save games can now be renamed, just like so. Very nice. A new lake has been added to the golf course along with some ducks, and the GPS map now includes all ponds and lakes. Also on the golf course, some open edges have been fixed with the cliffs. For those of you that love gore, small animals now have skinned visuals, so we're specifically we're talking about the rabbit, squirrel, eagle, duck, seagull, and land turtle. Moving over to improvements, this is a very welcome one. Kelvin can now carry two logs at a time. Wow, thank you. The night vision goggles have been improved. A north arrow has been added to the minimap. Wow, that took too long, thank you. Virginia with high sentiment should now visit the player more often. Muddies are now more likely to flee when scared. Your player can now get wet. <laughs> A wetness amount has been added to the character, so now it will increase when you're submerged in water or when you're cleaning yourself in water, and it'll reduce over time when not. You can now wash off blood and dirt off dead bodies in water. Why, I do not know. The flight speed for birds has been increased by a small percentage. If you equip a different armor type and the previous armor type you don't have any space for it in your adventure, it will now be dropped to the ground. Grenades and bombs will now play a water explosion effect when thrown in the water. The dead cultist's clothing is now bloody. I guess now you could always take them for a little wash. Deer are now more vulnerable to attacks at the front of their body. Low health moose and deer will sometimes lay down and rest. Almost makes you feel guilty, honestly. A few cannibal improvements this time around. Cannibals will now sometimes look at each other when not fighting, and also have new animation variations for running and lunging attacks, making them more evasive in combat. Cannibal Creepy and Leaf Armor will now be visually broken and knocked off when hit, rather than just disappearing. That's really nice. Female cannibals will sometimes drink blood <laughs> from village troughs or from dead animals. Also, they will cheer other family members and occasionally dance to radio music. Moving on to the fixes for today's update, the I Dream of Sushi achievement can once again be achieved. You can now drink from a deep bodies of water. Crafted spears will no longer fall through cave floors. Wow. The pause menu will no longer continually add force to the player when you're on the zip line. Yep, that is rather sad to see go, but... It is what it is. A slope limitation has been added to the Night 5, so you can no longer ride it up really steep slopes. Virginia will now wash at more waterfalls around the map. Lovely. The shovel attack will now slow down when you're in low stamina. I didn't even know there was an attack for the shovel. So moving on to the spoiler section of the changelog. It is rather short, but if you don't want to see anything regarding spoilers, click away right now. The only real notable change in this update that contains any sort of spoiler is the tape itself from the action camera. So let's go ahead and play it. Very, very interesting indeed. Anyhow, that's everything that I've got to show you for today's update. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to drop a like. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.